Hello, I'm David Harris and I organise an amateur field mycology group in Pembroke, West Wales. And this is our Mycolab, actually the corner of my garage, where we process many of our samples. Well, our current project involves going out into the field to look for specimens that are superficially similar but actually under closer investigation turn out to be different species. We go out in the autumn collecting season, find samples, we photograph them, we document them, we do microscopy, looking particularly at the spore size and spore shape, and we collect the samples, take them back and dry them in a fruit dehydrator. After drying, we freeze the samples for a few days to kill any bugs, and then we store the dried material in airtight containers until we're ready to move to the next stage. This is our Bento Lab device, and uh, we use this first of all to extract our DNA from a tiny portion of the fungus. Once we've extracted the DNA, we then add a cocktail of reagents which allow us to uh, take a small portion, uh, the barcode portion of DNA that we're interested in, isolate that, and then amplify it so we've got enough material for the next stage of the analysis. This uses the uh, thermal cycler in the Bento Lab. Then, just to check that everything's worked smoothly, we carry out a, a check on our product um, using a gel electrophoresis technique. Once we're satisfied that the extraction has worked, we send samples away uh, to an external laboratory for DNA sequencing. We receive back a barcode for our specimen and we compare that information with the morphological information we've collected in the field in order to learn more about the samples we've collected. Well, the Bento Lab has provided us with a cost-effective way of getting the equipment for this work and this, together with invaluable support from the mycology section at Aberystwyth University and generous financial support from the Pembrokeshire Biodiversity Partnership, has allowed this project to move forward.